Hello, this is just one of my 10 inch pots that I'll be growing vegetables in this year. This is an homemade compost, it's a soil based compost. Uh, there's lots of organic matter in there. Uh, and I'm going to do a quick um, pH test. Okay, the experts tell us that potatoes like to grow at between 5 and 7, a pH of 5 and 7. Um, I've got a, a soil test meter here, a pH meter, and I'm going to test this pH. Now ideally we want to be, uh, we want to have an acidic mix in this pot and we want it to be, I don't know, between four and a half, six would be nice. Anywhere in that range would be nice. Um, so this is my soil test meter. It's my pH meter. And it, it initially sets out at seven, which is, a, which is a neutral position. And then if it goes up, if the number goes up, what's in this pot's alkaline. Um, if the number goes down, what's in this pot's acidic. Okay, let's see which way it goes. Oh, it's shot down. Four, it's down to four. 3.5. It's actually registered in low. Blimey, let's clean this off. Try it again. Six point five, six, five point five, five. So that's a pH of five. I'll just clean the probe, we'll give it a, another go. I hope you can see this, sometimes the light reflects from the back from the face of the pH meter. It becomes like a mirror, you don't actually see anything. That's why I'm not pointing it directly at the camera. Right, well let's drop to five again. 4.5. Okay, 4.5 and 5. That's two readings. Let's try this. Seven, six point five, six, five point five, five. Yeah, so it's definitely an acidic mix, and it's down in the region of 4.5, 4. It's down in the region of 4 to 5.5, I would think. Let's try another. While this is settling out, let me tell you a tale. Um, I was down the seashore earlier this week. Um, and I had the camera with me. That's settling out at 4.54. Um, I was down the seashore earlier this week um, and I had the camera with me, I shot some video. I'll just keep popping this in and you keep looking at these readings while I tell you the tale. Um, yeah, and I shot some video and uh, it was a video of um, two little birds on a rock. Okay, and the rock was in the Irish Sea and on that particular day the Irish Sea was very rough. Uh, there was waves crashing all around. Uh, the tide was coming in and the water was getting deep around these two little birds uh, perched on this rock. Uh, and to be honest, uh, it looked like a life or death situation. It really did. It looked like a life or death situation. Um, the waves were crashing, two birds were standing, clearly well out of the depth. Um, but I kept the camera rolling. The birds were clearly out of the depth. Waves crashing all around, and then in a flash, two birds were gone. 
it's all on the video. Okay, I'll tag it on at the end of this and we'll call call it a day on this. Um, I think what we've got from this is that um, this compost is definitely acidic and I would say it's about four to five on the pH scale. Um, so we're down where we want to be really, perhaps a bit lower, uh, but we are where we are. If I'd wanted to um, raise the pH of this compost, I would do that by adding lime, um, but it's, it's clearly too late in the year now. That's something that needs to be done in autumn. Um, if I added lime now, it's something you just don't do when you're planting potatoes. Uh, you don't add lime. You add lime in the winter months, uh, to modify your pH. So it's too late for this year um, but at the back end of this growing season uh, we'll add some lime uh, to this compost because I will be recycling it. Okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and I hope you enjoy the little clip of video that's going to follow now. This is Homegrown Veg signing out.